The sheriff's office has an opportunity during this transition to begin the process of bringing police and community together. Her name is Patty Cole Tyndall, the current King County Undersheriff, and on January 1st, she will replace Mitzi Johanknecht, the current and last elected sheriff, who's had her sheriff controversy. In 2020, county voters approved a move back to an appointed sheriff for the first time in more than a quarter century. To reimagine public safety here in King County. The sheriff's office is moving back under the direction of King County Executive Dow Constantine, who will conduct a national search. King 5 News asked if Cole Tyndall will apply. At this time, I am not a candidate for the job and I don't apply, I intend to apply. A longtime labor negotiator for King County, she has the endorsement of the union representing deputies and sergeants. Yes, the leadership of the union does support this. Interim or not, Cole Tyndall is taking a job with a lot going on, where seven senior members have retired over the vaccine and another 60 deputies are asking for an exemption while continuing to work. An aging workforce where more openings are expected and other agencies are hoping to poach. The Alaska State Troopers are hiring. Just days ago, the state of Alaska was in town trying to recruit officers to become troopers. And King County is moving to keep its deputies and staff on the job. Today I'm announcing steps we're taking not only to invest in our current workforce, but to increase King County's competitiveness to attract talented members of law enforcement. The executive asking the county council to approve $4,000 retention bonuses payable on January 1st and up to 15000 to hire deputies from other departments. There is also the question of how long it could take to hire a permanent sheriff. Executive Constantine says he's expecting the search to last about seven months.